Hello, in this video we're going to go over evaluation of a product. This is a product of sine of pi over n, sine of 2 pi over n, all the way to sine of n minus 1 pi over n. Typically the way I'd like to find sums and products of trigonometric functions is using complex numbers. The formulas that relate sine of theta and complex numbers are these two formulas. One of them is e to the power of i theta minus e to the power of negative i theta over 2i and the other one is the imaginary part of e to the power of i theta. However, the second formula is not going to be very helpful because finding the product of imaginary parts is difficult to do. So it's difficult to simplify products of imaginary parts of complex numbers. However, the first one might be helpful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the first one and substitute into the product. But before I do that, I have to determine what is theta. So theta are the angles pi over n, 2 pi over n, all the way to n minus 1 pi over n. Since all of these angles are multiples of pi over n, I'm going to take one of these angles pi over n, call that theta for simplicity, and use that in the product. So the product would be the product of sine of k theta, k goes from 1 to n minus 1. I will take that and substitute into the product. So I will get the product, k equals 1 to n minus 1, e to the power of i k theta minus e to the power of negative i k theta over 2i. Simplifying that and factoring 2i and e to the power of negative i k theta, I will get this product. There are n minus 1 terms, all of them have a 2i at the bottom, so that would give us 2i to the power of n minus 1. Each term inside the product factors e to the power of negative i k theta, so that would give me this product. Now, I would like to get rid of i and e to the power of negative k theta if I can. What I notice is that looking back at the original product, all of the angles in the original product are in the first or second quadrant, which means their signs are all positive, which means p is a positive real number, which means p and absolute value of p are in fact the same. That allows me to get rid of some of these terms. In other words, i and e to the power of negative i k theta that have absolute values of 1 can be completely ignored. And if we drop those, we will get this product. Now, if you look at these complex numbers, e to the power of 2 i k thetas, you know that these are nth roots of unity. And if you are not familiar with why these are nth roots of unity, I will place a video here for you to check. So to, in order to evaluate these, noticing that e to the power of 2 i k theta are nth roots of unity, we know that they are roots of z to the power of n minus 1. Therefore, we can factor z to the power of n minus 1 as the product of z minus e to the power of 2 i k theta. However, they are missing the root of z equals 1. So we have a factor of z minus 1 times the product of z minus e to the power of 2 i k theta because k goes from 1 to n minus 1. If it goes all the way to n, then that would give us the factor of z minus 1. Dividing by z minus 1, we get this formula. Now we will use difference of nth powers. The left side gives us z to the power of n minus 1 plus dot 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 all the way to z and 1 and the right side is untouched. Now I'm able to substitute z equals 1 to get the exact product that I wanted. So the product that I wanted is going to be in fact n. Plugging that back into the original p, we will obtain that this product is 1 over 2 to the power of n minus 1 times n, which means the final answer is n over 2 to the power of n minus 1. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel hit the like button and check out the other videos that I have in the channel. I will see you in another video.